morning, everyone. Um, I would like to start by sharing uh, some thoughts about recent market changes which happened in the Romanian market. Actually, this is uh, all status quo. Everywhere, everyone was comfortable with. Uh, you provide uh, services for your clients as an agent, and you received fair commission for it. And suddenly, uh, two uh, biggest uh, insurance companies, Ben Crew, and commissions were restricted to 8%. And actually, this will lead to uh, decrease decrease in mm, your uh, in number of your agent network because they are they have to provide some amount of work for less uh, money that it won't be uh, profitable for them it doesn't make sense for them anymore for of course for some of them to continue with this kind of job and <clears throat> i think this could be a future that commission will be <clears throat> even lower uh, and more agents will leave the structures. And let me explain why I think so. The service you are providing to your client is mainly based on one product type. And the agent uh, offering them just some comparison and basic, uh, basic <clears throat> sales services. And all this stuff could be also uh, provided online by some IT application because it's simple product. It's just comparison and basic cell services. On top of that, it could be cheaper and much faster. Of course, like right now, there are customers who won't do that <clears throat> um, because they, they don't like this IT systems applications. But in 10 years, where a young generation will grow up, it will be just much more natural for them. And let's compare uh, Romanian brokers and European brokers. There are a few same elements uh, based on non-life sales and multi-channel sales. But on top of that, uh, European brokers offering also other services, much more services. And actually, this is the point where I see huge potential for growth uh, in Mm, on the Romanian market. And let me share just a few numbers with you. This is uh, how life insurance participate on gross domestic product uh, in selected countries. We compare Germany, Czech Republic, and Romania. Mm, the good, good thing is that uh, Romania started growing already. And of course, like, I understand that that's I, I'm not saying that you will catch up to Germany in the next five years, of course. But let's see, let's see this. The same situation with, with investments. And this is the situation with MTPL insurance and how it's participate on gross domestic product. You are almost on the same level as Germany is. So again, I'm not saying you will catch up to Germany, but let's see how it works if you catch up Czech Republic, it's small economy, we are not rich. It will mean, it means that uh, your sales will grow by four times in life insurance and three and a half times in investments. However, there is no space to grow in MTPL. If you will catch up Germany, such a big economy, there is potential just to grow by 30%. I'm just trying to say that I'm not sure it's worth it to focus on MTPL only. This could be this could be the another way where to evolve. Uh, for example, if I would be a client, I have several problems. I would like to buy a house. I would like to invest money, and of course, I have a car. Where will I go, or how many? How many uh, professionals or agents will I need to visit if I would like to solve all of my problems? Like free, it doesn't make sense at all. I don't want to call or visit like three different people, tell them the, all the story and talk to them. We call it one-stop shop for personal finance. That's a place where you can meet advisor 
professional in terms of personal finance and he is able to help you with everything with all kind of issues you have in terms of personal finance and <clears throat> i will show you our uh, own experience from other countries like poland slovakia and czech republic what could be uh, the revenue split or commission structure if you want if you apply this one stop shop just if you are able to effectively sell all the product types you can see it's almost evenly split uh, between insurance mortgages and investments you can see on the right side right on the graph uh, and see the left column it's non-life insurance non-life insurance is eight percent so just imagine the situation you have your cl current clients your agents who can serve them but your current income what you have right now could be just eight percent of your income in the future so that means you will earn 12 times more than now just simply by offering also product types of course you need to know how to do that properly because not everything works it's not so easy actually on the left side uh, it's a graph of uh, our revenues last year uh, where just um, 7.5 million euros uh, were made by non-life insurance and the 95 million euros uh, revenues uh, was made from other products so non-life is just minor thing I would like to share with you uh, why how to do that how to uh, grow this market into right direction and what could be the next step to to change it or at least to start it like this first step I will present they are very tightly connected together and probably it's not possible to to do uh, one step without the others the first thing is to bring unique wa unique value to your clients as I mentioned just to compare the products isn't enough to bring that value because you can do it online easily or wherever so there is no need to meet the agent to uh, provide such value to your client as an agent you need to be professional and let's see this could you imagine some professional who does his job part-time I would say it's not possible so to attract advisors to provide this kind of services full-time and be real for professionals uh, in that field it's necessary to provide uh, to provide uh, value to your clients and how to attract this uh, professional professional advisor and how to bring them to your company actually you need to build value inside a company because what's the difference between competitors right now just a different color in your logo it's not enough so where where could be the value inside the company it could be different system of trainings it could be different approach to clients and of course it could be internal systems like it and it tools which make it easier for your agents to sell um also like great support uh that's something what you what you already provided i would say and these three steps are necessary to create something what i presented to you previously complex uh complex product portfolio and complex advisory services and the last step would be creating um, complex financial ecosystem and what does it mean this complex financial ecosystem complex financial ecosystem could be something where the clients what clients uh, doesn't need to leave uh, 
if they want to solve any kind of their issues in terms of personal finance. That means you can find their banking, insurance, investments, pensions, and of course, everything is connected with uh, professional advisory services. And if, if as a client, for example, as a client, if I have something like this, I don't have need to leave it and go somewhere else. And actually, um, that's what we do in PB Financial Group. And I hope that uh, we, will, uh, we will be successful with uh, transferring this system into Romania. So thank you. And I'm happy to share more thoughts with you in person.